Hi everybody, welcome to my video. I begin in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, as always, I ask you to help me as I record your words. Please dip every word I speak in your precious blood so that they reach the hearts and minds of all those you wish to communicate with. Amen. Okay, I have a, a, a sweet message from Jesus here, and he, he speaks to us. Little lamb, I need thee. And my friend answers Jesus, saying, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Then Jesus continues to speak. I need you to tell souls about my thirst when I was upon the cross, of how I thirsted for them, how I wanted to quench my thirst for souls who would come to the Eternal Father through my suffering. I need you to tell them that they too can quench their thirst with my blood, not only in the sense of drinking my blood to quench their spiritual thirst, but in washing in it to cleanse themselves, to protect themselves from the unholy one, sanctifying themselves, purifying and cleansing the thirst of the soul, satisfied with spiritual food and spiritual drink. Tell them, tell them, beloved, Tell them I'm still waiting for the souls which I have purchased to come to me to be satisfied with spiritual food and spiritual drink. Tell them. Oh, my beloved, if you only knew the pain I feel from love denied. You see the tears of lovers whose love is unrequited. You do not see mine. Some are insensitive to the longing which I try to impress upon them, the longing for the love and their companionship. Tell them that I am the way, I am the light, I am the life, I am the price personified which was paid for them. Tell them, and they were, uh, tell them that they were bought with the price of love. Unrequited love can be painful even to a God. Tell them it is so. My open arms are aching for all those who are still turning away. My Father awaits for me to present them to Him. All those who do not come to Him direct, all those who do not accept that we exist, that we created them, little lamb, I need them. And Jesus continues, Console me while my blessed mother, as in Mary, who instead of spending every moment of eternal time in beatific surroundings, as in heaven, spends it doing my work in a world which is dark with sin in order to call men to my side. Tell them, so be it. And my friend has a note here saying, he answers some of the thoughts that have been going through my head concerning the anticipated Y2K problems, which are now so much in the forefront because this is an earlier message from December 31st, 1999, just before the Y2K happened. And my friend says, Lord, is there anything to be afraid of because of the beginning of the new millennium? And Jesus says, nothing but fear itself. The calamities to come will be upon you when least expected. Now that everyone is on a high and some actually looking forward to disasters as a pastime, there is nothing really to fear but fear itself. Later on, much later on, there will be much to be concerned about, as in now. Those whom I wish to preserve will be forewarned. The faithful I will always look after, perhaps not in the way they want or expect, but I will as I know what is best for them. Fear not, I am with you always. These words, words which were said a long time ago, said by me, still hold good. Fear not, I will be with those who want to be with me, to guide and assure them that my holy presence is their protection. My mother, as in the Blessed Mother Mary, who is mother to all of us, I continue, mother, my mother, to be their mother, and the protection of a mother will always be theirs. Amen. So be it. My friend says, oh, I'm, uh, Jesus continues, praise be to our God, the Father, the Father of the faithful, the Creator, the Omnipotent One. Praise be to our Father now and forever. Amen. So be it. 
end, once again, Jesus reminds us, in, as in so many of the messages that I have, that Mother, Blessed Mother Mary, is also there for us. Jesus is saying, yes, he is the way. But if you like, if you absolutely have to, go directly to the Father. He just wants us. He just wants us saved. He said many times, come through my mother then. If you don't want to come to me, Jesus, you don't want to go directly to my Father, then come through my mother. And in other messages, he's even said, come through the saints, but come, come to me. If you don't want to go through the proper channel through Jesus, he said, please, then come to my Father direct. Failing which, come to my mother. Failing which, come through the saints. But all those point to me. Even going to the Father directly, we are sent to Jesus. Everything points to Jesus. He's searching. He's seeking for the lost souls. He's so hurt. He, he speaks of his pain, his, his horrible, horrible pain from man's ingratitude for the ultimate sacrifice that Jesus made for us to save us. He purchased us. He purchased uh, our souls and our sin by dying on the cross and suffering that horrible passion. He reminds us in so many of my messages, he still hurts. The saints have, uh, have said in these messages how he suffers for you people, how he suffers, and we feel his pain too because we, we love him and we're joined to him. How his mother Mary suffers for man's ingratitude. So many of us are lost. We, we're just living in this world from day to day doing our thing. We can't be doing our things. These are very important times. We must go back to the Savior. He's the pathway to heaven. But he's also given us other ways. If we must, he just wants us to come back. And all roads lead to him. Um, all good roads, all proper roads lead to Him. So I hope, I beg, I pray that we are enlightened by these holy and sensitive and loving and, and, and sorrowful words of Jesus our Savior. I hope that we are enlightened by them and touched by them and humbled by them. I ask this in Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.